Vince and James and the president of PACE, Patrick Campbell, set out to revolutionize 3D moving image acquisition. As industry pioneers, they developed the most advanced stereoscopic acquisition system ever created, known as Fusion 3D. Collectively, Vince, James, and three, Fusion 3D have captured some of the world's most captivating images and productions of our time. Their technologies, products, and services have been responsible for $4.7 billion of box office receipts and have played an extensive role in 25 features, seven concert and music entertainment projects, and 40 sports productionized the 3D industry and set the gold standard for the public's perception of 3D, resulting in high quality and compelling and engaging 3D entertainment. Later this morning at, NA, at the NAB show, they will be officially announcing some exciting news about a brand new company, Cameron Pace Group, through which they will accelerate worldwide adoption of 3D solutions across every entertainment platform. But right now, please join me in welcoming Vince Pace and James Cameron. experience for me goes back um, about 20 years now after coming off the abyss. Um, I was adamant about building a new lighting fixture that could go either in the water or out of the water and it was at NAB that I came to where I dropped it into an aquarium every 20 minutes to show the crowd um, uh, you know how this new product. So you know NAB for me has always been about the innovation of new products and how we connect with the customers that uh, would potentially use them. Well, we we started together on the abyss. And that was what 88, 89. Yeah, pretty crazy, and it was working underwater. But it was interesting that that underwater experience is what drove Vince to be an early adopter of HD. And so when I started thinking about HD as a possible solution for uh, making an IMAX movie in 3D, which was a pretty radical concept, this is now jumping forward 10 years in 2000. Actually, I think it was late 99. I called. Called Vince and said, because we, you know, been been pals the whole time. I knew what a good engineering company he ran. Said, hey, let's let's make a 3D system, and uh, because he was a he was a leader in, in supplying uh, uh, HD products to, to to the movies and so on, uh, uh, camera system, and so that set us down this crazy path that has led led to now, and uh, so it's been at this point um, more than an 11 year. Odyssey for us, starting with the first very simple systems that we did at that time, just kind of slapping two HD cameras side by side, which the first time that we were able to create a complete loop where we could look at a projection screen like this live and be shooting live with that first, very first prototype camera system, we looked at it and we said, this is stunning. It looks like reality. It looks like you're really there. So we actually called that first generation the reality camera system. That later evolved over time into the to the fusion camera system because we knew that we had to up our game to be ready to do uh, live broadcast and motion pictures, and uh, each has its own specific uh, requirements. Obviously, uh, they're very different animals, but we had to do top quality 3D for uh, for both. I knew someday, somewhere in there, transitionally around 2003, 2004, I knew I was going to be making my next movie. Uh, in 3D, not just for the IMAX platform, but for a, a much broader platform. And everything was sort of evolving in parallel with the DCI specification for theaters being evolved and with, with Real D. I know they're over there someplace. Hey, Josh, Michael. Anyway, they were obviously instrumental in, in getting the, the projector technology out there to the, uh, to the cinemas so that on the content side, we could actually make 3D and get it, and get it shown. And uh, so, you know, we, we started to develop these these uh, tools specifically for for cinema. And what we interestingly, I think, when we solved the cinema paradigm, which was being able to cut from any shot to any shot, and we solved that by a combination of technology and kind of aesthetic choices that are that are made. 
um, we inadvertently solved the live switching issue. And so we found that the very same systems could go out on a, on a concert film, for example, or, or, or onto, a, onto a live sports broadcast and work very well, at least uh, at that stage. So it's been a real odyssey. And Vince is going to tell you a lot more about all, this, all the sports and live broadcast work that, that uh, Pace has been doing. But just to, to wrap up this kind of history, this brings us to, to a point now where we realize that, that broadcast is the future. You guys are the, are the, the future of 3D. We're going to talk mostly about 3D today and, and how it might impact your, your business and your, and your business models going forward. And we said, hey, why don't, why don't we uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, formalize our partnership, uh, expand our business uh, together, and, and create a brand that's going to be an end-to-end -end brand for, for quality, quality 3D. Uh, so we've, we've kind of reinvented ourselves as the Cameron Pace Group. Um, and that gets us up to the, to the president sitting here today. So what I'm going to do is, is run a clip right now, which is a couple, couple two or three minutes. And it's just a, a roundup of what, the last couple years? I think uh, pretty much the last couple years of, of, of 3D stuff that we've been uh, directly involved in. Then we'll talk a, a little bit about it. So if we can run the first clip, please. Yeah, sure. Oh, glasses on, please. This is 3D. Glasses <laughs> on, glasses on. Oh, it's classic. <laughs> gentlemen, you are not in Kansas anymore. You are on Pandora. You should see your faces. So tell me about yourself. Everything you need to know is in my dancing. Everything? Survive. 